Hello. This is uh, just a pre review, really, of the Keystage 3 class book in maths. Um, I did the English one already on YouTube, but I thought I'd go through some of the um, things in here. The only trouble is with this, I think, is that there isn't... It, obviously, only certain questions have answers to them at the back, like this one and that one. But overall, it's a very good book. They don't give you as much details to explain how you do them, but it is a very good book and I recommend using this as part of homeschooling in your maths. They've got obviously angles in here as well, and graphs and shapes and space and measurements. But yeah, it's a very good book. We haven't actually used it all, we only got this for year 7, she started in late year 7. And I've used some of it for um, year eight, but not as much, because we we used also we used um, this one, which is stage three numeracy strategy, which is a very good book as well. But again, they don't explain how you do them, so really you have to have a, obviously understanding of how to do them. They do do answers at the back, which is helpful very good and I also have another book two for this as well which is there which we haven't got to yet which I recommend you get these they're quite good I got these from Amazon I think but yeah these are very good I had to backtrack and we started on the key stage two maths is easy because she was having problems with some of the things and obviously these are very good. These actually go through and explain everything you need to do when you do them. It's only a small book. But I do recommend if you're having trouble with anything to use these books before you go on to things like that. All that. Which was we're on book one at the moment with with this one. And of course the key stage two, which we've just done the fractions. Um, fractions, I can't remember which of the other one was, I think it was... But no, we just got over the fractions one, which made it easier for her to understand how to do it. And oh, it was in decimals it was, fractions and decimals. So we did that one, and I recommend using these if you're having trouble with your child for maths. They give you also in these ones, which are really good, is at the end of each subject, like say this is the end of the subject, there's, at the end of the thingy I should say, they give you the answers and you do all these questions about all the things you've just learnt in that chapter, and at the back, which I found really interesting, I didn't even know about it until a few weeks ago, they do a, okay where is it? I've lost it now. Is it in this one or must it be in the other one? No, they haven't got it in here. Okay. Well, in the fractions one, they did a little mock test at the back, and it was really helpful because she did that, and it, we were going to do that, but we didn't actually get around to doing the mock test. But it's just good to refresh their mind if you need something like a little test to use and they haven't got it in this book it must be just in the fractions one but yeah we haven't got to the algebra system yet and I'm dreading that bit because I'm not very good at VM algebra but hopefully this will help <laughs> but yeah so I recommend these books obviously if you're getting on a right with the key stage 3 class book then I would obviously just keep using it but I would shake it up a bit and just add different things to it like the book one in numeracy, or if they're a higher stage, then there's book two. Um, but if you're having trouble, I would definitely recommend getting the Key Stage 2 Maths Easy, Maths is Easy series, which is really good and very helpful. It helped my daughter understand what she was doing. It is for 7 to 11, so she's just out of that range. But we, like we said, we have to backtrack to make sure she understood what we were doing before we continued. So I think... Hopefully these books I've hopefully had with this video, but you know, they, it's quite a thick book actually, so they got the graphs in here, it's just, it is a good book. If you're having no troubles, then I would suggest just continue doing what you're doing and 
recommend just carrying on. But if you are having trouble, I rec do recommend the the Key S2, the Key Stage 2 series books. You get them on Amazon. I think I was paying about four pound for each one. So, but yeah. So yeah, definitely recommend these books. Thank you. Thank you for watching and subscribe and just like. Thank you.